let me just say, the so-called black man, the original man, the aboriginal, the native to the entire landmass or planet that we call Earth, when he is fully unlocked, genetically unlocked, that is, when he is activated, when he is or she is in their original state of mind, they are gods and goddesses. They are direct descendants of the source itself. They are extensions of the creator itself. Therefore, they are the creator in human form. The black body, the so-called black body, is a conductor for the universal creator or the divine essence that creates in all dimensions to experience itself. It really hasn't gotten out quickly, which I've been talking about it for a couple of years now. It just really hasn't gotten out there. Um, you know, because I don't think people, you know, people, if you hear about a human type alien, you want to, people want to hear about a, you know, eight foot tall, blue eye, blonde hair, <laughs> and <laughs> angel, you know, kind of being, yeah. you know, to go along with their belief system. You know, that, I think, one of the biggest issues, I was shown that uh, there's, Apparently there's going to be some sort of solar event that's going to cause the downfall of technological civilization. And after that occurs, all of, they call themselves our cosmic cousins. All of these different ETs, including the African-looking race I told you about, they are all going to fill the skies and come and assist us. I mean, how shocking is it going to be for everyone when they're standing there, the doors open, they're about to drop these little pair of food with parachutes, and they look up and they don't see a blonde-haired, blue-eyed angel. They see a bunch of people of different, you know, brown okay. skin, different, different skin, you know, I mean, <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, they're not going to be prepared for that. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's fascinating. It's fascinating. Thank you for sharing that. Do you know of any other races too? So yeah. Sad. The ET groups that are out there that are human-like are not Caucasian. They're not. If you watch movies, you see tall blondes with blue eyes and the majority of them are uh, various shades of dark skin, different heights, uh, mixes of uh, like, uh, you'll see African American type uh, mixtures with Polynesian kind that just slightly different than what you would see here. Uh, you, um, you, you, there's just something a little different about them, a different type of human. So as I've described, there are 22 of these genetic programs and they're, they're more than just genetic. I'm really pleased about it because normally we, we, we perceive aliens to be white um, and that's never sat very comfortably with me frankly when I know that it's not the case. Um, this particular group are a, a black group uh, they're very benign, very friendly. I have encountered them so I can't say that I'm I'm mean, anything like an expert on them, but I have encountered them. They are not reptilian. The, the questioner uses the word reptilian. I can understand that because when you look at them, you would see the, the scales, you would see the whole shape. But the, the correct term is amphibian. They are a hybridized form of human and amphibian. They are black skinned. Um, they model themselves a little bit on, on human culture. That's because they have, have existed in the oceans of this planet. Um, five foot eight and five ten, something like that, not particularly tall. And do wear clothes. Um, a very benign group, the sort of group that would not get involved in the human, human side. You know, it, they wouldn't want to be involved. Um, so yes, I'm familiar. All the dolphins out in Wales are us, an advanced extraterrestrial race called the Nomos, and they are also from our star system. They are on Sirius C, all right? You think the dolphin is an animal. You think the whale is a fucking animal. That's the lie they told you. They are not animals at all. Anybody that come from our star, star system are considered to be the gods, and we are on the headquarter, which is X, Sirius X, Xylanthia, because we created the entire universe. But in our immediate star system, because stars don't exist, but this is what NASA calls it, anytime it's a cluster of planets together, they call that a star system. The Nomos were the one who came and talked to Dogon all about the stars and reminded them about the astro astrological layout. And it was them returning that gave that information to the Dogon, and the Dogon spread it around the planet. 
these dances, these masks, these strange rituals have meaning. They describe precisely the relationship between a remote African tribe and the heavens. This tribe believes all life comes from a distant dark star, invisible to the naked eye. Recently, modern science was able to find this star and confirm its existence. Now we must ask, how did a primitive people lacking instruments of any kind discover a dark star hidden deep in space? A desert tribe called the Dogon, isolated in the African wilderness, may have identified a star invisible to the unaided eye. How is this possible? How could the Dogon possess this sophisticated astronomical information? Many cultures claim their knowledge was given them by godlike beings descended from the heavens. But the Dogons insist their gods descended from one star in particular, which they're able to identify and describe in detail. Does other evidence exist of this encounter between gods and men? Uh, the Nomos were representatives of the order on Earth. Uh, these beings were amphibious beings, uh, uh, fish-like creatures, uh, which were uh, eerily, eerily mysterious. Or the Nomos, which actually is you as the land guardians, they as the water guardians. They evolved from you. Right, because you came from the planets, um, from a planet in the star constellation system, Sirius. So did they, because you were the land guardians and they are the water guardians. The Nomos, who took on the shape of dolphins and whales after their planet was destroyed in the Sirius star system, we we give we we promise to give them a home again. So they we gave them the seas, and they took on the form of dolphins and whales. These are the Nomos. It's why the government makes it illegal to communicate with dolphins. Definitely, if you got carbon in your skin, it's illegal for you to be in, in, in the ocean without, without, without the right paperwork in general. I think we have under the ocean that there's people living here that have been here for a very long time. I think you also have multidimensionals, beings that are in higher dimensions or other dimensions that know how to match their subatomic frequency to our particular dimension and then also i believe that you have beings that are here, that are light years away that can travel here they're probably using something like a warp drive in a warp drive what really happens is you actually shrink space in front of the ship and you expand it from the back so in essence you're like you're sitting on a tablecloth and then somebody's pulling the tablecloth and so you're riding the tablecloth you never really go anywhere a warp drive you never really move and we've tested the warp drive now we've actually got a functioning and working warp drive in the laboratory but again the exotic energy we would need is pretty extreme you really have to be in a super advanced civilization to be able to do that actually show you that they're studying black people okay so they got this on this page here because you know the thing is when you watch movies you don't even you don't pay attention to this but when you slow down the frames you start to see exactly what they're flashing so they flash this this thing here okay they even said if african american and then they put all this the, the serums okay potassium sodium, dichloride, and whatever, and all of these things. And they're saying that the new creature, and they even got an X here to show his X genes, is a homo titanium, which means they're African-American. That's what's going on. It's the, it's the genes, though. They're studying African-Americans. That's what's going on here. And they're showing you this is what's happening. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? <laughs> Are we making, am I making this up? If I'm making this up, you tell me what this frame is saying. Homo titanium. And here you say, if African American, and you get all these drops. You see? You see? I, t I showed you. So here they're telling you that the origin of African Americans, which is Africa. And you the motherfucking Indian if you got carbon in your skin. They lied when they told you in history, all the Indians gone. Where? Where? Where they go? Where they go? Where they go? They said it was 8 billion Indians. Where they go? You really believe they killed 8 billion of us? They just got here. They just got here. They just got here. Fuck what they telling you. You can see these motherfuckers went back and wrote themselves in our history trying to... They got spells of us trying to make us think that they been here and shit because we have forgot, nigga. 500 of their man-made years, nigga. 1492 is when they landed. They didn't take over to 1776. They got you thinking they've been here for forever. They just got here, nigga. You are the Indians. They called you that right in history. 
Indians, nigga. The Indians that they show you are $5 Indians, nigga, what they call $5 Indians. These are human beings posing as motherfucking Indians, nigga. Getting all the land reservations, all the free land, all the money, nigga. We are the Indians. You looking at them. You looking at them every day, nigga. They didn't kill us. They just renamed us. They enslaved us and renamed us. They didn't bring us across no motherfucking Africa, neither. They got you thinking we all came from Africa to hide the fact that we was everywhere, nigga. We everything. Yeah, is actually being studied. So much so, they're trying to recreate the first being or the first titan. Okay? That's what's going on. The first titan. But in here, they're telling you they're studying the titans. Will give us the secure of the military arms and the arms that we would need to take it over. We haven't. Why haven't we done that? Because we have no plans to do that. Mm -hmm. Because we're nice, loving people, and we actually want to get along with everybody. We love everybody, man. Everybody is cool until they ain't cool no more. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and so it's just like, man, come on. And, you know, and the oppression and the suppression. It's talked about in the myth of Adapa, which is another amazing Sumerian tablet that people need to read because it talks about the fact that we were created higher than the angels, the angels of the Anunnaki. That we had a special thing in the DNA that would let us elevate even higher than them. Higher than the angels. Higher than the angels. Mm. And that we would discover this in long in the future. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, you know, through the process <clears throat> of knowledge and wisdom ascension, the way that Anki had tinkered with our DNA would allow us to become uh, all-knowing in, in a way. We would have all the wisdom, all the knowledge of all the ages inside of our body. It's already here, but we haven't tapped into it yet. And it got his brother in a little pissed off that he even did this. Mm. And they, had, they started battling with, with each other. So two brothers were going head to head because Enlil had tinkered with the DNA a little bit too much. And it's all talked about in the myth of Adapa. Adapa is Adam or Adamu, the first man. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it talks about the whole thing, man. Then you read the, 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 the book of Adam, which was apocrypha text left out of the Bible. And you find out, man, oh, this stuff is crazy. We really are some powerful people, but they've been hiding it from us this whole time. We the ancient aliens. Real telekinesis. I'm with it a little. Oh, yeah, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Okay, do it one more time so the camera can see it good. Whoa! <laughs> Morgan! <laughs> okay. Do that. Do that. Again. Again. You gotta do that again. You gotta do that again. I know how to make smoke come out of my mouth off it. Whoa, you moved it again. This is incredible, people. Of the world. Let's see. Can she do it again? Real telekinesis. Let me see, cause I don't, y'all think you're tripping. You not do what the hell? You not doing that? You are not doing. Oh. <laughs> she is not doing. <laughs> oh, my baby. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> oh, no. No. I know. No, no, no. I can't do this. I can't do this. Everything that they're doing is because they fully know that we activating. They know. They, they fully aware. You've seen videos of Elon Musk shooting rockets up. Um, and, you know trying to figure out how to break the firmament you know they already you know they already know that they can't lead a planet they, they, they know that right now they stuck on a planet this is like purgatory for them that's why you see elon Musk shooting up rockets and cern and things of that sort they trying to find a timeline right where they win but they can't do nothing it's 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 inevitable 
Their destruction is inevitable. And the crazy part is I seen it all. I seen it. I don't care what y'all think. Y'all can say I'm tripping. Y'all can say all, you know, I told y'all hallucinogen, the term hallucinogen is false. When you when you when you consume these entheogens and you tap into the mycelium network, it shows you. You we we live out, you step outside the construct of time. This whole time was it was created. It's it's false. And when you when you when you ascend to a higher dimension, you can actually leave the construct of time. I actually went to the quantum burst, the quantum field, as well as I stepped outside the parameter of time and I seen what's gonna take place in regards to us fully, fully accessing our cosmic powers and our full ability. It's gonna take place. I seen I, again. I seen gods and goddesses levitating. I remember looking around and like, wow! I was in awe. You know, looking around, kind of, because you know, when you into these entheogens, you partly somewhat got your third dimensional mind. But I believe we'd be tethered to the fifth dimension somewhat in the third, and we kind of can remember somewhat. But I seen it all. I seen I seen us all fully powered up, and we was we was we fully were aware of everything that was going on. And, and you know the thing of the sad part is it's a lot of people that, that's not gonna make it. It's a lot of people that's too dumbed down by society. They ended up getting a jab. That this just too bogged down with and, and brainwashed. And, and and unfortunately, it's a lot of people. If you're watching this right now, you 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 will ascend. You will tap into those higher levels of consciousness. And the most important thing, though, however, is love. Okay, just because you got melanin or noramelanin don't mean you won't be left behind or you won't be stuck. Because again, um, you know, I believe Rashad Jamal said it. These ancestors will walk right into your avatar and take over uh, if you're not utilizing your nine ether correctly. You know, and that's the, it's like you in this car. It's just like if the cops. Have you seen the movies when the cops running after somebody and they take them out their car because they need it? That's what the ancestors going to do. They're going to hijack your vehicle and they're going to take it over because you ain't riding it correctly. That's what's going to happen. So it's very important that people tap in and realize what's going on and, and, and fully focus. They're not doing all this CERN and they're not, they're not doing all of this stuff. They're trying to find a timeline where they win, but they can't. They can't. And it's inevitable. The most important thing that everyone could do is remain steadfast. Sun gaze is very important. Ground. Do your shadow work and fully step outside the matrix. Realize it's all an illusion. It's all assimilation and just focus on happiness and everything will fall into place. Hey guys, check out this extraordinary three-year-old girl in Africa. She has some special healing powers. She's healing a lot of people in Africa right now with her holy water. She's only three years old. Not only five or ten people, but like cities of people. But it's just people are coming all the time, every day. Yeah, her mom and dad say this, they do it for free, no charge. This is a special story, guys. Check her out. Apparently, she was in her mom's stomach for three years. Three years of three years of carrying the child. But all kinds of people are coming to her. She's healing people that doctors can't even heal. Who educated the whole United States government on UFO? That's right. He'll tell you about UFOs, but he'll never speak about the mothership. But if you go to the Freedom of Information Act, the mothership is under above top secret classification. So where's y'all getting all of this UFO shit from? The mothership is the main ship. It is a ship built a mile by a half mile. That's the dimensions of it. There is nothing on this planet flying that can fly um, that is a mile by a half mile. You know how what kind of ship that is? The metal that it's made from, there are no more on the planet Earth. Where was it built at? Oh, off the island in the island of Nippon. Today known as Japan. By the top black, brown, red, and yellow scientists. And America refuses because to admit that this phenomena exists she would be admitting that there is a power that is present that America's power cannot overcome by the presence of something that America has been dealing with since 1940. But this great mother wheel has been in existence since 1929. Let me stop here and say that these are not extraterrestrial planes. They are not from outside of the earth. 
It is written in the Bible and you go check it for yourself. These wheels rose up from the earth. The intention of these broadcasts is to lay bare the truth of this phenomenon as taught to us by the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. And it is to free all those who have been intimidated.